What is up, Gemini? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a love reading for you. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. First thing I was getting is something about washer, washer and dryer. You could be washing your clothes right now. Um, you could be doing laundry right now, but I'm getting something about like the rinse and repeat cycle. So something is rinsing and repeating in your love life. Okay, this week. This is a weekly reading for you, Gemini. Okay. I'm hearing don't force it to fit, okay? If it's not for you, it's not for you. You know the vibes though by now, Gemini, I'm sure. Okay, let's see what's going on here for Gemini in love this week. Oh, we have alignment. Whatever's happening in your love life this week, it's helping you to align. It's helping to align you to your higher self and your soul purpose, okay? So if it is a breakup, it is a breakup. If it is a reconnection, it is a reconnection. If it is a new connection, it is a new connection. Whatever's happening in your love life is happening in alignment. It's aligned to your path right now, okay? This card also says you are in alignment with your higher self and your soul purpose, okay? So that's a good sign. You're on the right path. You're doing what you need to be doing. I feel like there's no gossip. There's no drama. There's no low vibrational energies around you, okay? I'm hearing sink or swim. All right. I feel like you're letting something drown or you're letting something go, okay? Or you have, all right? These cards want to come out, but like, what do you want to say, spirit? Inner teenager? Apology? You could be dealing with a Taurus or have Taurus in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? Inner teenager apology. You could be like, um forgiving yourself for something you did as a teenager this week okay there's also a unicorn onesie in this card which showed up in the aries reading you can be dealing with a lot of different people this week friends people from when you were a teenager okay lovers and two but there's an apology it says seeking forgiveness expressing regret and guilty okay We'll clarify all of this and see what's coming through. I'm not getting a lot just off the cards, Gemini, but I am seeing this. Alignment, inner teenager, apology. This could be somebody coming back around. And like I said, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It's meant to happen. But I see that somebody is apologizing to you or somebody feels like they need to apologize to you and you're just standing strong, standing tall here. This is also, these are shadow people. These people are in the shadows here. All right, it's just a silhouette of a person. So this could be something that you're waiting on, an apology that will never come. You're giving yourself the apology this week. You're giving yourself acceptance this week. Sorry, there was a loud noise on the TV. It's a motivation. You could be working on I am affirmations for success, confidence, self-love, happiness. Maybe that's what you're manifesting for yourself right now. Success, confidence, self-love, happiness, motivation. I see you finding motivation this week, okay? Maybe you're listening to something, listening to someone, listening to yourself, okay? A lot of your love messages, Gemini, have been about self-love, so apparently we're here to guide you on your self-love journey, okay? You could be apologizing to yourself for something that you went through or just accepting that something has happened, that something was, and that's it. I'm hearing keep it simple, okay? Don't stress yourself out this week. Don't stress yourself out about love. Don't stress yourself out, Gemini. There's enough people doing that for you or something like that. Tell me about this alignment card, and then we'll dive into the inner teenager and the apology. Gemini in love, please. What's this alignment card? Page of Swords. In the reverse. And the Nine of Wands. You may be taking time off from social media. You may be taking like a social media break or you need to this week because something is meant to trigger you or something is going to trigger you. I feel like somebody is purposely trying to get under your skin because they see that you're aligned, because they see that you are vibrating very high or because you're becoming more successful, because you're happier, because you're loving yourself and that just like really frustrates someone else or other people, okay? This could be a group of people or this could be people from like high school still like jealous bitter petty or something like that 
and my ears are ringing. I don't like to tap into gossip energy. It's low vibrational, and I feel like you don't either. Okay, so you may be taking a break from social media, or you may be blocking someone this week, or blocking someone's number or something like that. Okay, let's see what's going on with the inner teenager. Why is the inner teenager here? I'm getting that someone's trying to drag you into their problems or drag you into their drama, drag you into something. So be mindful of that this week. It does look like somebody is trying to drag you in. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. I feel like you want to just like hermit this week. Like I feel like you just kind of want to be to yourself, keep to yourself, do something on your own. You may want to rest more this week. Okay, some of you could be ba battling like bouts of depression. Okay, this week. And I feel like something is stemming from like when you were a teenager for someone or just from when you were younger, a younger version of you is asking you to heal you or is asking you to love you. Okay, with the Four of Swords, it talks about rest, patience, rejuvenation, okay, getting a break, taking a break, okay, that could be a message for you this week. Maybe you're taking a break from work, from a relationship, from doing something. Okay, I see you being very focused on like your spiritual life this week or just being very focused on yourself this week in general. Okay, yeah, you may be finding yourself very tired this week too, just very tired. And I feel like it's because you need to recharge. Okay, rest is productive. All right, some of you live in like your higher chakras. I'm getting like your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, your throat chakra. Like you're just always talking. <laughs> you're just always getting a lot of information. But the rest of your body needs to align too. The rest of your body needs to be felt too. So make sure that you are doing that this week. Resting, relaxing, taking breaks from consuming social media content or just content in general. Okay. Let's find out about this apology. What is this? What is this apology spirit? What would you like to say? I'm hearing J. Someone's name could be J, or the initial of someone's name could be J, first, middle, or last. That's a lot. That's a lot. They have a lot to tell you, and I don't want to read into their whole apology, but I saw a glimpse of it. And for some of you, it has to do with, like, someone cheating, or it has to do with somebody just being, like, unfaithful, or just not really giving you what it is that you were giving them, and that's what they want to apologize for. Okay. Yeah, Page of Cups. See, this is why we don't date pages. Well, one, the page will always come back around. But two, the page is very immature. Dating a page is someone who it's like, oh, it's fun, it's flirty, it's cute, but it never really goes anywhere. And this person, like, is in and out of your life, or this person just, like, can't keep up with you. Okay? Because I feel like it was just meant to be, like, something fun, something one-off, something flirty. All right? And now this person's apologizing because they want back into your life or because they want another go round they want to do the thing again maybe you slept with this person and this person's like coming back around because they want to sleep with you page of cups is very immature energy it's very sweet very charming very like kind but it's not going anywhere that's what i'm getting this page of cups is not going anywhere there's no potential for this relationship to manifest okay all right so Let's pull a couple more cards, see what is coming into your love life this week, and see what's going out of your love life this week. I'm trying to make all the readings at least 10 minutes, so let's see what's coming in for Gemini in love this week. It's a judgment card. A second chance. Some of you, there's a Scorpio lingering in your energy, and I feel like you are closing things with a Scorpio. You are cutting ties with a Scorpio here. There's something done and over about a connection or done and over about a situation here, okay? I just feel like somebody is too low vibrational or somebody just exists in lower vibration, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that, like, that's who this person is. Like, it's just lower vibrational energy, and it drags you down. It drains you. It makes you feel uneasy or something like that. You just don't want to be there long term, all right? But yeah, something is coming in, asking for a second chance, asking for an apology. I'm getting like a, will you take me back? Will you take me back? That's what I'm hearing. And I feel like you've already moved on, okay? 
Let's see what is leaving then. What is leaving Gemini's love life this week? The Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Sadness, disappointment. I feel like that bout of depression or that little spell of like sadness or frustration or whatever, you're going to get that out in the middle of the week and then you'll be moving on. You'll be fine. I feel like you do just need to purge something. You do just need to like release something, let go of something. Okay. And sometimes the way to do that is to like re trigger yourself to have the thought again, to have the memory again, to go through it again. But you don't have to relive anything. I feel like it's all mental. All right. And you're clearing that out. So Five of Cups in the reverse is leaving you this week. Okay. I like that. That means that disappointment, fear, self sabotage, holding on, all of that energy is leaving you this week. And you're going to feel a lot more free in your love life and in life in general at the end of this week. Okay. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that it helped and resonated. Sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self and stay hydrated. Please hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. If you'd like to tip, donate, or get a personal reading with me, information's in the description box below. Until next time, see ya.